What's happening? I'm Michael and this is Budget Builds. What's happening, Budget Builder? Just a beautiful day here in upstate South Carolina, and we're going to get back to work on this F 350 build. First thing we're going to do today, we're going to take the truck to its first maybe ever cruise in see how it goes. We'll jump into it. We're going to get under this engine bay, get cleaning it up a little bit and replacing some of those parts. Alright, so as you saw, there was nobody there to be expected with kind of a rainy day, but at least it was a fun drive. We'll do it again soon and hopefully get to see some more people. For now, we're going to go ahead and jump in the new truck. We're going to take a ride to the local auto, uh, bleh, oh, local LKQ junkyard, pull apart, and we're going to go ahead and pull some parts off for this truck right here. So, uh, going to look for, I had a few people suggest the two, two, three, whatever piece manifold off of the newer fuel injector trucks. We're gonna go and pull one of those off in the collector. I'm gonna get some tools together and we're gonna hit the road and get over there. All right, y'all, so we're here at our local pick and pull. We're gonna get looking around for some mid 90s Fords, EFI 300, so we can find that manifold. A little rainy, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Not y'all, but I could rock a Ranchero Squire like this thing as a work truck. For now, let's go to start getting this engine bay cleaned up. I'm gonna pull a couple things off, like the cap, the air cleaner here. Maybe I'll go ahead and pull this coil. We'll cover everything up the best we can. Let's soak her sit down with some degreaser and get her washed off and see how she looks. All right, so what I'm gonna do here with the cap and wires, I'm gonna take my silver Sharpie, and just so there's no questions about anything, I'm gonna mark our position here, and then we'll mark each individual wire just so there's no questions, you know, these things are hard as a rock. I need to go ahead and replace them. But I hadn't got a new set yet. Well, actually, I ordered a set, but they were the wrong ones. So we're waiting on another set of those. But for now, we got to do with what we have. So let's go ahead and get this marked off and go from there. All right, so as you can see, I got some Ziploc bags taped onto the carburetor and the distributor there. Everything else should be all right. I'm gonna try to stay away from the alternator there. And I've got this piece of headliner material laid down that I, my neighbor works at a place that makes headliners for cars and this stuff's pretty good stuff to, I'm gonna spray everything down and all the oil and gunk that comes off will get caught by that and I can just roll it up and throw it away. But we're going to go ahead and go to town with this degreaser and see how she comes out. <laughs>
All right, so as you can see, it's a lot better. It's not perfectly clean, but that's not what I'm looking for. You know, the main thing is, well, this side needs a little more. <laughs> but the main thing is just to be able to see, you know, for now to see if there's any major leaks or anything that we need to take care of or pinpoint, make it look a little bit better. If we end up pulling the engine, you know, maybe we'll really go through and clean it really well and repaint everything. But at this point, it would just take so much time and so much work to actually get all the grease and everything off of this sucker. But for now, let's go ahead and pop this valve cover off, finish cleaning it the best we can, get a new gasket on it so we can stop that oil leak to begin with. So what we'll have to do, we'll have to pull our fuel line from here to the fuel pump. We'll have to pull our the vacuum line for the vacuum advance on the distributor so we can get that up. We'll pull this vent hose off. We'll probably have to take these cables up and get them loose. And then we've got, I don't know, six or eight bolts all the way around and they look like half inch and we'll pop that sucker off and see how the internals of this engine look a little bit. gasket scraped off and we'll take my shop vac and we'll suck up all the junk off of this and get it pretty decent we'll have to drop the pan anyways at some point in time so I may run I don't really want you don't really want to run a flush through it without having the pan off otherwise you're gonna suck junk up into your 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 push rods and everything and end up blocking those off and, and starving her for oil so we just want to suck the junk out of it and I'll go ahead and get this sucker really nice and clean while we have it off and then we'll we'll do a little bit better cleaning job internally once we get the pan dropped and everything but you know how these old 300s are they just go forever so i'm not too terribly concerned about it and i would have liked to see a little better but but it's what we got to work with and she wants to run so we're going to keep her running Took forever in that diesel but I'm pretty happy with how it came out so this is what we use in the marine industry when we're winterizing stuff and so what this does you spray this down the intake and we spray it all over the top of the engine and it kind of it makes a nice thick coating and it adheres to the the metal and keeps you from you know keeps from corrosion happening and also keeps from from dry cranking when you go to start the go to start your boat up or your jet ski up in the summertime after a winter and so what I'll do is I soak the outside of the engine it keeps me from having to paint it or anything but it keeps that bare the bare metal from rusting and I'll show you how it looks on the on the motor itself now that it's sat you know it looks real thick and glossy when you spray it on but as it dries it actually looks pretty good and I you know you just hit this every every once a year or so and it 
sticks on there and looks pretty good and so that's what I use to keep keep the bare metal as far in the engine bay you know bare metal plastic etc in the engine bay looking pretty good you know me personally probably not the best way to do it I'm sure there's other ways this is what I like to use all right well we've got the valve cover soaking right now and while it's soaking as you can see I've sprayed everything all the bolts and nuts down with penetrating oil let's go to see if we get this intake popped off and see if we give this and see if we get this exhaust manifold popped off so we can get the new one on it and I'll show you what we got here in just a sec Yep, it's about time for a new Leatherman. I wear these things out. I've probably had this one two or three years. I had one before this that I had for probably two or three years. And I use these on absolutely everything. If you're a mechanic or work on something, do lawn care or something where you need something like a pair of pliers or something here and there, or you drive old cars, you know, this is a you know sometimes you can fix your you know you can uh, clean points set points do whatever you might a lot of things on an old car with this to keep you on the road i always carries one of these with me obviously about time to order another one and i'll order another leatherman wave this is by far my favorite multi-tool that i've had so far fits pretty slim in your pocket and overall does really well and uh, so just need to get a new one of these soon but <coughs> All right, now that we got everything cleaned up there, we need to finish cleaning up on the motor. Let's go ahead and get this gasket ready to put on the valve cover. I'm gonna take some ultra black and just put a light filming on it. Realistically, you don't need it, but it's always nice to fill in the little cracks and crevices that you may possibly have. And it also will hold the gasket on there good while you're getting it set down on there to, bolt, to be bolted on. You did it. I I'm sorry. No, no, no. I meant you, you were able to do it, but I wasn't. <laughs> I'm holding it up so you can make sure it's on before I set it down. Okay. Just go ahead and let it down. I think I'm good on this side. This side. You might want to go ahead and start these bolts before you pick it up, okay? Oh, that was not. I'm sorry. That's okay. Why is it coming out like that? Now it's way off now. Oh, here, hold on. Oh, you pain in the butt. Okay. Let me just start getting bolts on. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and snug these bolts up. Man, that was kind of a pain to get them on there. It always is, especially with a cork gasket and a valve cover gasket. But we got it on there. I think everything's going to sit okay, and, and we'll substantially minimize the oil leak that this engine had. Let's go ahead and tighten these down. You don't want to tighten them too much because you'll actually bend the valve cover, that 10 valve cover. So let me just set my torque wrench 
really quick. All right, now we're ready to tighten her up. All right, now that we got that valve cover on, let's go ahead and clean the surface up so we can get this in, the intake and the exhaust manifold on back on. Let me go ahead and show you guys really quick. So we went, what we ended up doing for now, just for time's sake and cost, we went ahead and bought a factory manifold for this truck. It was about $90 compared to the 260 or so that you spent on a header. So this is what we're gonna start with for now. It's definitely an option. We're gonna change it up in the future. But just to get this truck back on the road, it's been sitting here in the driveway and I have it tagged in a shirt. I wanna get out and drive this thing around. So we wanna go to get this thrown on here, but I'm gonna quickly try to get this cleaned up. It is actually snowing right now. Let me remind you, we're in South Carolina. Two days ago, it was 70 degrees. <laughs> so this is wild, but th this is what we're getting this year, this winter. It, it's cold, it's hot, it's rainy, it's snowy. I don't even know what's going on. So let's go ahead and get cleaned up and we'll get the sucker on here. I do wanna remind you, this 1966 300 is actually the highest horsepower that they did make, it, the highest horsepower and torque that they did make out of the 300s. It's 170 horsepower and I think 283 or 289 torque. So realistically, as far as power, it's, it's supplemental for what we need it for. In the future, we definitely want to do bump it up a little bit. We have so many projects going on right now. This one is our driver. This is our fun little local truck. So we just want to get it back on the road. probably soak it down with some huh? was there one yeah i probably soak it down with some copper yeah okay. all right so before we can get that manifold stuck on We've got some kind of crusty, rusty bolts that need to hold it back on there. We might as well clean them up before we stick them on there and make it look better. So what I use, I got my drill press. I've got a fairly, ow, a fairly mild wire brush wheel that it's actually a paint stripper wheel. And I just use this for stripping, stripping all the rust and everything off of them. It also works with, with aluminum products. It's a fairly mild wire brush. It doesn't dig in too hard. So let's go and get all these cleaned up real quick so we get that manifold stuck back on there. All right, so we're out here in this blizzard. <laughs> Why? While he's, he, my dad, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up some bolts and brackets. You see, I've got the gasket on there. Went ahead and soaked it all down with some copper, copper sealant. So it has a nice good seal there. Dad's gonna go ahead and start bolting this thing on. I wish I could do a little bit more, but it is, I don't know if you can tell, snowing like crazy out here. So we're gonna try to get this manifold on here so we get wrapped up on the under, so we get wrapped up under the hood here. So we can fire this truck up and actually drive it around and have some fun in the snow. <laughs> Use the hanger on it. It's got a pin there. Yep, just one pin. One pin? Yep. Okay. Get that pin. Wherever it goes. Oh, oh. Is that it? Is that pin? Oh. Yep. Yeah, that's what I said. Hold it. Don't do that by myself. You're going to have to hit me that end. I'm doing that right here. All right, y'all, so it decided to kind of get snowy out here, and it's r sticking really well. It's only been going on for a little over an hour now, 
and we're in a blizzard, us southern people. So ended up throwing this thing back together. Everything's looking really good. We do need to pull the carburetor back off, go through it, and clean this air cleaner. But we wanted to get it together because this snow is sticking, and we want to get out and play in it and take you guys with us. Here we go. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's low gear for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. We're going to ride around a little bit, have some more fun in the snow. Hope you guys enjoyed this, getting the engine bay cleaned up a little bit better. Obviously, need to jump back in there, but the snow kind of threw us off. We want to be able to get the truck wrapped up before so we get out and play. <laughs> but uh, once again, I want to thank you all so much for all the positive love and support that we've had so far on this channel. Really enjoying ourselves, having a great time with all these builds, especially this F350, the Rab and that Porsche. Can't wait to see you guys again here shortly. Okay, that's almost heavy. As you can see, realistically, motor-wise, feel like we got it looking pretty well. That new exhaust in there and everything. Need to clean the intake back up a little bit, rebuild the carburetor and clean that 
air cleaner but so far I'm really happy with how it looks. Do need to sand these down and paint them, but obviously with the cold weather, can't do that right now. So as soon as we get some warm weather, we'll clean those up and get this engine bay finished up and dialed in. See y'all later and catch you on the flip side.